Kevin Cho Electronic Project Well, hello everybody. Welcome back with me. You know me, I'm Kevin. And today, I make my own Arduino traffic light. So, well, I'm at my park. So, let's go ahead inside and, and let's check it out. Come on. So here it is. For now, you can already see the program. Well, you can. Well, actually, I defined all of the programs in the three parts, in the renaming parts, into a void setup. And the main program, you know it, void loop. Well, it's pretty long, so we're gonna talk about it later. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about this renaming thing. And so now. You can see here this is integer which which turns the x1r into a variable so that means x1r equals 13 that means pin mode 13 is in x1r and now if you ask why 1r then there's 2 then y then g and then also 3 you might be asking why because the, the number one here is actually post one and the r here is red and so if you see an r2 that means post two three post three and there's the r y and g you, well actually they're colors you know it you can already see it right here and this is r that means red y equals to yellow and g equals green well actually if you can see in our combinations like x to g equals pos to the green color and you know it also same each of these numbers are in these letters so now as i say we're gonna explain about this just now was done and now let's talk about this you know what each of these things will always start with pin mode the number of pin comma output or input the in the brackets then some kind of column here and then for this one i recommend you to use the numbers because they are in order, so you can just directly type 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 10, 5. And so, like that, well, you know what, I use 9 pins. <coughs> and so now, let's check out to the <coughs> void loop, which is the main program. So now, here it is. Now, you can see the void loop, which is the main program of the uh, whole thing. And now you can see here there's <coughs> x3y low, x1g high, x2r high, and x3r high, which is actually turn. Well, you know what? If it is high, that means turn on. If it is low, that means turn off. And <coughs> after these, all these things, we're I I set to wait to to 10 seconds or 10,000 in this thing here and now for this one why is it 700 it's 0 0.2 seconds right so now this is the answer because I only put 700 or 0 0.7 seconds to turn on the yellow ones here and now also for the other ones 2y and even 3y and now you were asking right the program have just started but why this there's already something low the answer is down here <coughs> because at this 3y it turns on and it must wait for 700 
or 0 0.7 seconds <coughs> and so after that so after turning the G wire on for 0 0.7 seconds the program starts over so the G Y must be turned off so you know the answer and let's go ahead and check out how I made this much so now come on here it is all of these is the code before I can type on the this kind of language for the Arduino so before I do that I do this first so now I have the list of 1G, 1Y, 1R you already know it when I explain the first one here and there's step 1, step 2, step 3, step 4 and until 19 well it's just the number of steps like this like this one two g four and so on well like that <clears throat> and this one and zero are actually that one means on and zero means off or you can or maybe we can say one is high zero is low and d here is delayed that means if ten thousand that means 10 seconds I already type it also as 10,000 like this here and also wait for 10 seconds and this one D point 10,000 you know it 10 seconds and this one is <coughs> D700 same too like this one and for the pattern for all of these things are actually the difference well you don't have to type like all of them like 1G, then off, then every single these things you must type like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 codes like 9 digital rights like these but I only type the difference in between each of these things example like this one for this one there's 1G, 1 2R and 3R are on so you can see it 1G, 2R, 3R are on so as I want to move the 1G to 2G so that means I must turn off the 1G and 2R first the 3R doesn't matter because it's the, at post 3 and I'm going to, I'm only going to mess up a bit at 1G and at post i mean at post one and post two so if i want to do that i must turn them off first so this one is all off the whole post one and post two so the rule is if you want to go to one r or maybe any kind of r you must go to yellow first but if you want to go from R to G, that means you don't have to go to yellow first like this. But you just go directly to the G. And also, the yellow, I set it to turn on for 700. You know it already. And now, the pattern goes on like that. So, as this one is yellow, after that, the others, I don't want to mess up with the other things here first. And so, for this is yellow, and I'm going to turn it to red. So, I'm just going to turn off the yellow first, and turn on the red one, and then back like this thing here. But just one difference. The G is at post 2, and this one, the G turns to R, and so on till here. And for this one, I actually this thing is actually perfectly same with step one here. Well, I already type an extra note here to loop to step one. That means, well, actually this step eighteen and nineteen here is actually quite useless because they're perfectly same with this here. I make this so just I can see it clearly the difference between 16 and step 1 here because the 16 is the last step in 
all over the whole loop. So now, here it is. Now you can see directly to the breadboard here. And now you already know the rules. If there's one green, the other two must be red. And if you want to go from green to red, there must be yellow. And the yellow will be here. <coughs> Lighting up when, up, I mean, after 10 seconds, this green is lighting up. And this one don't have to go to yellow. Well, like this one, like this one don't have to go to yellow, but it just go to directly to green. As I show you, like I show you just now the rule. And I'm gonna tell you before, when I show you the program, there's some kind of post one, post tool, R, Y, G, right? They're all, they're all right here. And post one is here. There's like one R, one Y, and one G. This is two R, two Y, two G. Well, like that. So that means post one, post two, and and here and the last one, post three. So now, as you can see here, I've already got my <coughs> simulation board down here. And also those traffic lights, same rules, one green, two red, if green wants to go to red, it must be yellow, and, okay, I've talked too much about the rules, but now, as you can see here, the traffic lights here, <coughs> I, I stick them together on a popsicle stick here. Well, these popsicle sticks are not Lego, so you know it. And so I use an electrical tape like down here to stick them <coughs> and also the cables and also the cables for this one to go to the Arduino and breadboard there I must use solders because if you want to extend cables you know it use solders so actually you cannot see the cable because the cable is under this simulation board and also as I say extra cables so I've already put some modifications to the simulation board here like here so I put something here which is actually to close to close the gap under here because actually I put holes here so it's actually longer than the video before I show you and also here there's another thing here it makes this thing wider than before I show you <coughs> and also the decorations well I put some trees like one of these this and also some people like this one <coughs> and some other peoples and also I put four cars here, also four cars there, one car here, and one car here. But except for this one, I'm only using three cars because actually the motorcycle must be here, but it cannot stand here softly like the other cars like these or this ambulance because it only have two wheels you know it and there's only one car going back and that means if it is green the car can go right you know it so example like this car goes to the left and it's red so it cannot go anymore so as you can see here the breadboard there is have no lights anymore but still same with some resistors here and also same too still stick to the <coughs> Arduino board we're outside the house and we're just going to go straight ahead to the traffic light but the thing is sorry it's quite far away so later I'm just gonna skip it okay so and boom done we already skip it and then there's a traffic
traffic light in front of you just now and now we're going to turn left and after that turn left we're just gonna turn around but nothing turn that turn around is a is an our long way so an our skip boom oh come on traffic jam okay don't care about that we're just gonna wait okay well okay and whoop whoop now we're turning we're turning come on <clears throat> come on we're going to turn come on and boom we already turn right now and we're just going to go straight ahead for not traffic light okay skip it again boom now you can see there i'm pointing at the traffic light Whoa, just one was 10 more seconds okay don't care about that because i'm just going to go straight ahead until <clears throat> until yeah another turn around and that means if not turn around another long way so we're gonna skip it boom we already skip it well that's already a quite far way and wait what a traffic light with two lights okay that's broken but never mind okay well you see an, a turn around and we're gonna turn there yep we're turning and keep turning and turn well well there's too many cars but okay let's go and we already turn and then well that was the last turn well yeah last turn around and now we're just gonna go around whoop well, already skip it just now and green light okay don't care about that but because we're just gonna not go another turn left so that's all for today well just now that turn left was a go home so thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe Okay, is this recording? Okay, I hope so. Okay, sorry for that mess. I just want to tell you that you remember the simulation board? You remember so many stuff, right? Well, you remember, do you remember this man? Well, actually, you won't realize that this man, you're, you're seeing that this man is a bit scared, right? But what if I flip it? Man, he have two faces, right? This side and this side. Hi, it's pretty ridiculous. Okay, I'll just put it back where I found it. And the next one is, do you remember this motorcycle? You know what? This people is riding his motorcycle backwards. See, his back and this is his face. Look at it. Yep, I know it's ridiculous. Okay, I'll put it back here and Give me time. Remember this tree? Actually, these leaves are from one thing. Okay, I'll unroll it. Give me time. If you unroll it, yeah, it come to like this. Yeah, that's pretty, it's so weird. Huh. And if I unroll it bigger, this is what's hap going to happen to the tree. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it alone there. And do you see this trash bin? That I don't actually put it here. Actually, I put it some kind of a bit strong enough to the ground here. But you see it like that. But actually, I put something down here. So it cannot stick. So it just roll all over. And also at the simulation boards too. You don't realize that, right? <clears throat>